Hello, my name's Andrew Rosenberg, and I'm with the Big Texan RV Ranch, and I'm the operating manager of this partnership. Myself and Bobby Lee and Danny Lee and Chris Gant all flew to Philadelphia, and we went to Zip Cabins, and we bought 11 cabins. We had RVs in the site and we were able to replace the RVs with the cabins. So we had no questions or no problems. What is interesting is if we had built cabins, we'd have to pay property tax. But since every cabin is registered as an RV, there's no property tax. You just pull them in, you hook them up to 100 amp service, you hook them up to the sewer, and you're ready to go. We've got the units on our website and we're marketing through the Big Texan. They have tons of people on their website. We also have a marketing company that handles all the placement and all the codes to get into the cabins. Your cost per cabin delivered are between 95 and 100,000 and then you have another 20 to 25,000 per cabin for the infrastructure to build a deck, to put the barbecue area, to make it a theme. So I would say you have approximately $125,000 a cabin to work with. I figure the cost for maintenance for the cabins are between 1,000 and 2,000 a year for the first five years. Obviously, as they get older, you can spend more money on maintenance but they're built very well and we've had zero issues. As far as staff, I didn't need to hire any additional staff because I already had staff at the RV park. The only staff that I acquired because of the cabins and the nightly rentals were two maids and they're doing a wonderful job. I'm not paying them by the unit, I'm paying them by the hour. And the reason I'm doing this is I don't want them to rush and I want the units perfectly cleaned. Our rates change with demand. The whole world is based on supply and demand. And on the internet, as we fill up, our rates go up. Our on busy nights, Fridays and Saturdays, our rates go up. And then during the week, we run a special. Because the cabins are different than a motel room and you have a loft and you have bedrooms, two bedrooms, you spend a little more time cleaning them. So I figure $25 a piece to clean them every day that they're in use. And we put that in our rate. And I figure your rate would be $100 a night and then holidays and weekends as high as $200 a night. Well obviously occupancy in our business is seasonal. We get a lot of people on I-40 Route 66 coming through for the summertime and our occupancy has been around 70 percent. Obviously in the winter time we expect it to drop around to around 50 percent and go back up to 70, 75%. Our timeline for an investment like this is approximately five years to recoup the money you put out. And that's a reasonable timeline, and I think we're on target. I have 24 acres that I share with Bobby and Danny and Chris Gant, and the Lees and I are gonna build an RV park with another 240 spaces and we plan to put in 15 to 20 cabins in this other RV park for nightly rentals. My only advice to somebody that wants to do a similar investment is they do it right. You just don't bring the cabins in and set them in a dirt area. You have to create an environment. You have to create a barbecue area, a sitting area, a place for people to sit out and talk and visit. 
You have to create an environment that's inviting. You want to make it clean. You want to make cement walkways. You want to make patios that are comfortable. And you want to create an environment. I would highly recommend Zook Cabins. If I'm going to buy a cabins in the future, which I am, I would only do business with Zook because of the quality, because of the guarantee, and because they were there when they said they were going to be there.